Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Neo Scavenger and the Adventures of Philip Kindred. We died last time. It was a painful, painful death. I don't think we can continue. Can we resume? Nah, we can't resume. Okay. Right. Last time, we actually got a lot of equipment, but we got punched to death by a random guy. Uh, mainly because they didn't drop the box. And I should have done. Anyway, what do we want to do? Uh, you know what? Okay, we're my epic, but we're strong. We got tracking, athletic, hacking, and mechanic. One point left. One point left. Christian might as well. Okay, we get, we have we you got tracking, athletic, hacking, mechanic, electrician, and strong. Well, we can't see very far. Right, so here we are coming out of this again. Let's fight the the, the monstrous beast. Uh. Cost me some nasty wounds, but at least I'm alive. However, I ended up with a... If I'm correct... Currently inside the... Blackcraft is the dogman gone. Um, Once off for records, because we get the bank account stuff. Um, backing for the dogman's tracks. Climb out the window. Yep, and they'll go straight back in because we'll have here again. What did you find? Item. Ah, Dogman's Corpse. Can I... Can I use that as a... Was it, was it? Aha, I can. See, I can use that as a sharp edge to skin the Dogman's Corpse. You can get a lot of food from this. You gotta get meat and... Fur. I'll do. I'll do meat and fur. I won't carry it around with me, but it's good to know that there's a large amount of meat here. Um, let's go inside. Um, don't think there's anything around here, is there? I mean, if you go into the next room, there was nothing here apart from that. We fixed the um, HVAC, which is heating. Ventilation and air conditioning. Um, cool, and then we can do the electricians as well. We have, we have now, I think, the, um, yeah, we have the recipe for cryo lighting and the heated HVAC. I need large non rigid sheet, tarp, as you will, or small mechanical parts and a, and a screwdriver. Whereas I need pliers and a sharp edge and four small mechanical parts. Right. Sharp edges we've got, they're shards. Other than that, we've got nothing else. Right. Have a look around, shall we? We're myopic, we can't see very far. Yep, we'll go into the high rise buildings here. And we will end the turn. Scavenger these high red buildings. Ooh, there's a lot of buildings here. Uh, abandoned office tower. Avoid dangerous structures and pitfalls, or scavenge brutishly. We get more safety and like, it's less loot, more loot, more safety, less sneak. That'll do. Ooh, what did we get? We got some stuff. We got scope again. Well, this rope again. We got uh, a bag, a chip bag. Huh. You can enter that and just take the chips. Chips got a, a can of uh, Jimmy soup can. We have some French made blinkers. Um, a bottle of water. Um, and some jelly bears. And some jelly bears, why not? Okay, so we got ourselves the scope. Hopefully that'll negate. I'm currently bleeding as well, what? Wow, I'm currently bleeding out. Minor bruising, minor pain. Minor cut, minor bleeding, minor pain. Yeah, that fighting that thing probably was not the best idea. 
I ever had. What do you get now? Get some more stuff. Some little saucepan, first aid kit. Oh, first aid kit, that's good for us. Um, get out. Uh, can you get medical supplies now? Clean rags. Uh, bandage that up. Bandage that up. Uh, no painkillers in the bottle, sadly. Cardboard box. Only a better storage system. Oh, I can't put the cardboard box on my back, of course not. That would be silly. Uh, you can't carry a cardboard box on your back. Uh, so there's an empty painkiller bottle. Several empty plastic bottles. Clean rags. Uh, or a cola plastic bottles. So we can put that in there. Um, another plastic bag can go in there. Metal saucepan. Huh. We've got some interesting things here. Like, the, the first aid kit will be very useful. I just need somewhere to carry all this stuff. Like, I need to find a supermarket. Is the weird one. I need to find a supermarket. Supermarkets have... What do we get? What else did you get? Uh... Cast your wheels. Some water. Put the water in the bottle. Yeah. Water's in the bottle. Nothing major. Didn't get a lot out of that, I think. And back to the map. Scavenge one more turn. Our last remaining building. Make it safe. Make it looty. And no items. Okay, we got something. We got, we got something here that we can't see. Uh, we're being attacked by something. We have no idea what it is. <laughs> Choose a random direction and run. Removes cover, makes you vulnerable. High chances of moving. Um, let's uh, go to cover and uh, have a look. A feral dog. He's quite close by as well. He's frail and vulnerable. He's a feral dog. Um, threaten, sprint away. Threaten it. Ah, feral dog did just retreat from the player. Go on, shoo. Shoo, leave us. Uh, in that case, we will fall back under cover. There you go. Um, look at these houses, shall we? I like the mechanic. The mechanic, the mechanic strong is good because we better keep safe. We get some loot. Uh, what do we get out of this? Yes, clothes. Uh, makeshift noise trap. Uh, some more jeans, hoodie, and then down on top of that. Keep it nice and warm now. Alerted by noise trap. Oh, the painkillers. These are actual painkillers. Okay. Um. Got the actual painkillers. Yeah, there's actual painkillers. Uh, how do you medically? We got some pain, so we'll take some, we'll some painkillers. Some painkillers, so that that'll help out, I think. Noise traps strung around this area helped alert player to creatures while they sleep. Okay, there's noise traps in the area. And the storage shed. Uh, I want to. I want to stay safe. I don't want. I want to. Want to. Kagi, kaki, cargo shorts. If I get that off. Okay, they're not as warm as the other ones, but they have bigger pockets. The blue jeans. Um. Right. So if you get the hoodie back on. Um. A lighter. A flashlight. 
Yeah, I wish you could rotate these things. I really wish you could. Because that would be so much more useful if you could just rotate them. Put that in there. Um, put the blinkies in your pocket. Take the torch. A makeshift rag shoe. Something, at least. Comfortable, but at least it's not barefoot. I'll take some more rags. Uh, you know, we, we got that for now, and we'll end the turn. Scavenge here. The abandoned house. What do we get here? Some bullets. Stones. Empty plastic bottles. Not really anything relevant. Right, not sneaky at all, but I'm I'm doing this loud. No items found. Uh huh. Oh, painful blisters on my foot. Of course I do. Um, is that because of the shoe? That's because of the shoe. I'll, I'll, I'll gotta take it off. Really? Oh, using any of this stuff? Ah, oh, we found some shoes. A left boot. An extra, sh an extra shirt on. Stay nice and warm, an extra shirt. Oh, and another first aid kit. What have you got with us? Um, special clean rags and some empty bottle empty bottle of uh, antibiotics. I'm thinking, right. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. Um, oh yeah, hang on. This will work out better. If I can just take out that, put those the chips in there. I'll put the torch and the tube in there. There's some space left over. Oh, for the rags, right? Rags are important. We can't forget the rags. Rags. Torch. Um, bottles. Um, that. Bullets. There. Can. Inventory Tetris. Um, get the tag on my wrist still. Do I want to keep the tag? I'll keep the tag. Keep the tag on my wrist still. Put it on my other wrist, shall I? Yeah. I swapped it from sides. I'm a fashion expert. Right. A feral dog still there. Still clean rags. Bruising still there. Um, feral dog, feral dog. A lot of feral dogs around here. Up on the hill, we can see a bit better. Secluded shack in the woods. Ah, again, again a dog, I'm assuming. Um, it's quite far away. Uh, so we'll just leave, I think. Really? He's coming closer? Charging at me. There you. He's coming. He is coming. Keep I'll keep trying to th threaten the dog away, but he's coming. Dancing towards me. Now charging towards me. Threaten you again. Threaten you again. Threaten you again. Now he's running away. <laughs> I guess I threatened him enough. Um, oh. 
But you as well now, huh? Feral dog leader. Right. I understand. Right, so you have to... Are you someone we're actually going to have to deal with? I'll threaten you again. I'll, I'll see if I can make you run away. Once more. While you're there, so we will now have to cut you. So yeah, I cut the feral dog's lower left leg with a sh <laughs> Hang on. Falls back from the player. Is tripped. Fell to the ground. I cut his lower left leg with a shard. I scratch it. He's bleeding. The shard has fallen apart. Right. Leave. What? He's coming in? Are you really? <laughs> Upper left arm with a shard. Lower chest... Oh, my lower chest was scratched. Right, okay. I'm bleeding as well. Um... He's currently leaving, so... To be honest, I kind of want to move closer to you. Like, did I trip? I tripped. Get up again. Um... Move closer. Like, I'm gonna have to deal with this dog at some point, right? So I might as well. Right. I'll... Right. Okay. So, what happened there? Uh, he's bleeding. He dodges my move. He, he, he tried to dodge, but it didn't work. I hit him anyway. So I, right arm scratched. Okay. Vulnerable, I'm gonna wait its turn anyway. Severe pain and bleeding. Passed out from the shock. Kicks. Covering concussion stunned, yeah. Oh god, I feel really bad about this now. <laughs> right, so here we go. Um, demolished the head with a punch. Died of severe traumatic brain injury. Oh dear, I feel bad now. <laughs> yeah, but I got I got really scratched up. Yeah, that's a dog's corpse as well. Um, I got really scratched up there. Okay, so I took some painkillers, right? Okay, then I wish there was a way to like to, to keep this window open so I could get at the rags. But I don't think there is. I gotta empty that out, right? Yeah. Okay, so rags, 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 rags. Everything goes back in there. Uh, you, both of you. That, that, uh, you're still bruised, that cut's still there. They're still wrapped up in, um, clean rags, and we've taken a painkiller. That'll help with the pain, hopefully. Minor cut, pain, minor bruising, pain. Minor cut, pain. Minor cut, pain, minor cut, pain. Yeah, we got, sc we got scratched up. By a feral dog, that doesn't really bode well, does it? Uh, what's on the ground here? Some berries. I don't need to eat berries yet. I've not got to the stage where I need to eat berries. Oh, there we go. Our high rise buildings. Um, one more turn. What time is it? It's now day. Cool, partly cloudy day. I'm comfortable. I'm well rested. I'm not thirsty. I lost some blood, but other than that, I think I'm okay. I'll just scavenge for a bit then. Humbling apartment buildings. Right, hello, this is something you get out of this. Alright, we got some two boots, we got some running shoes. A pair of them. Uh more hoodies? I don't think I can lap hoodies, can I? Yeah, I can't overlap hoodies. Uh a scratched UVD, another bag. 
Some more shards, I guess. But the, the pair of running shoes is nice. It's useful. Blisters on foot. Uh, I got blisters on my foot. Is that a thing? Can I, can I deal with that in any way? Doesn't seem to be a medical issue. So we'll just put some shoes on. Shoes, please. Thank you. No socks, but we got some shoes on. Um. Destroy? Okay, it's literally just destroy. Okay. Um. Yeah, I've been in the other building. Uh, nothing major, I think. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll drink some water, but other than that, I think we're okay. Um, right, we'll move on that one next. Scavenge there for a bit. A destroyed office building. Ah, we got a lot of stuff out of this. What did we get out of this? Uh, another shirt. Hockey cargo pants. Hurrah. Much more space in the pocket now. Um, what do we got here? Some a road map. Nice. And so what's this? Uh, this is locate Detroit. Once cheap and ubiquitous as roadside stops, these pocket roadmaps have become something of an archaeological tool for modern scavengers. You will carefully unfold the giant leaf and try to make sense of where you are. Locate Detroit. You recognize Detroit, even if anything else in your memory is missing. As cities go, it's one of the bigger ones. Trace a route from where you are to the city. See the mini map. Right, okay, so if I go to the mini-map, Detroit... Uh, can I just... Can I move that at all? Can I move them? Yeah, okay. Detroit Mega City Gates. I guess we should work our way to Detroit. Uh, The map... I kind of want to keep, yeah. Small campfire, friction, trapping skill, two medium flammable radio traps and kindling. The tarp. Uh, yeah, we need lighter... Teddy bears, I'll do. Uh, scrap of foil. I want like I want I want like a bigger backpack or something because you know, uh, medically wise, how are we doing? That's still there. That's still there. We need to rest, to be honest, before we can get anything done. Uh, where am I? Oh, I'm all the way over here. Am I? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, there we go. Right, so, end turn for now. There was a noise trap back up there, but I haven't got anything to carry it with. What do we get now? Uh, the tarp. More small parts. This is what I needed to repair things with. I want... I know you can get... Um, Find like a supermarket, you can get a supermarket trolley. Wow, got a lot of stuff out of this one. Um, loads of clothes. Loads of clothes. Can I craft anything with the clothes? Can I craft... Uh, I get some clothes, like some blue jeans and a blade. Yeah, I can make rags from clothes. Right? I can make a shiv. Clothes and a guard. Interesting. I'll make that, yeah. A shiv from clothes and a shard. Got a shiv. Um. Huh. Uh, what else can we make? Known recipes. Food. We can't sterilize anything. Um. Medium thread. Three small threads makes medium thread. Paper scraps. Got three thread. And some old newspaper makes paper scraps. Rags from clothes. Oh, hang on. Okay, rags from clothes. Uh, shards. Plastic shards. Short shorts. Short shorts. I can make. I can make jeans. I can make short shorts. <laughs> um. Uh. Uh. Box cart, pliers, mechanical. You need a lot of stuff. I can make a, I can make a shopping cart from scratch. That's kind of nuts. Uh, crude torch. I 
could make a crude torch. Yep, see, I could, I could do that. It's crude torch is fine. Medium campfire, I can do because I've got scrap of paper for kindling and the log so I can cook things here. Um, plastic stud, the strap shopping cart. Small campfire. Shiv. Sharpened spear is a sharp edge and a rigid, flexible shaft. Small or medium, flexible, non food object. Small, brittle, rigid, sharp, handheld, cheat object. Bravois, whatever that is, and a sharp shelter. Um, okay, two Mular shafts. Okay, and whoa, whoa, whoa. If, if you go back that, can we make a tarp here? Because we have, we have the tarp. Two medium large shafts. Do we need do we need medium string? Two medium thread. Can I make two medium thread? I can. So I mean, I can make a tarp shelter. Hurrah! I've got a tarp shelter. Awesome. So here in this place. Only a place in the ground, sadly, but we currently have a shelter here. Um, huh. That's cool. That's interesting. We got it. We have a shelter. Um, so there's currently a shelter here. It's currently in the middle of the day, but there's a shelter here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here, look around this area. Around this area, we're gonna look around, and we'll, we'll spend the night there. Okay, we don't need the mechanic skill, right? And less loot, so yeah, we'll do that. Ooh, what did you get here? A nanobot medical kit. Nano robot. Okay, that's a new thing for me. What's that? Empty that out. What's that? That's a nanobot medical kit suspension refill. Use the nano robot medical kit and the runes instead of mending. Player's immune system is temporarily boosted. Ah, that's something new. Um, well, the shiv is over there, isn't it? Damn, I left the shiv behind. Take the grass. We'll take. We'll take the. We'll take the, the branches. Ah, huh, interesting. I like that. Um. Oh, fine. Feral dog. Leave, please. Leave, just go away. Leave. Right, so we both left. Ooh, there's a guy there. There's a person there. Um, here. With a hardened spear. Um. Wanna talk about it? Nope. Although he has tripped and fallen. Um, right, he's tough and I'm strong. Oh dear, this is going to be issue, isn't it? <laughs> Every video is going to end with me dying, isn't it? Um, I don't want to charge, I want to, I want to fall back slightly. Uh, I can demand a surrender. He's not going to, but I can demand it. Um, So oh, hang on, what happens? He tripped me down. Um, but I battered his right arm with a stick. Now he's slashed my upper stomach with a hardened spear stab. Ow! I'll roll dodge, please. Thank you. Oh no, I didn't. Nope, he hit me anyway, and I'm stunned. I'm in severe pain. I'm stunned. And I'm. <laughs> For God's sake. Oh. Here we go, what really happens, guys? So yeah, see you, um... Was... Wow, let's see what happened. Uh, now dusk, I've got a concussion, I was bleeding internally. I shredded the payer's head with a hardened spear stab. I passed out, tore open my head. Um, so what did I die, what did I die of? 
I died of severe traumatic brain injury. That's karma for the dog. Unconscious, nearsightedness, I was using a scope. Anything interesting here? Immune system was temporarily bolstered. Um, I never got around to eating or hungry because I never lived fast enough to be thirsty or hungry. Um, I passed out from unbearable pain. Concussion. Knows that the creature carrying out the hole was a dog man. I was wearing the wrist strap. I had painful blisters on my feet. I saw the glow in the east. Hi. I know that in the first night you see a glow in the east, which is Detroit. But I don't know. That was weird. Anyway, um, that's it this time. I'll catch you guys next time for more deaths of Philip Kindred. I'll see you guys then. See you then. Bye.